hello everyone welcome to this video so i've come across some cool react packages and libraries and in this video i will share them with you hopefully you find them useful so don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel let's get started So the first package that I'm going to share with you is called React Markdown. This is a Markdown component for React and it's a very simple component to use. They've listed out some reasons why you should use that and it's here. React Markdown uses a syntax tree to build the virtual DOM which allows for updating only the changing DOM instead of completely overwriting. So it's very simple you install using npm install React Markdown. And they have some basic examples here and this is the api and then with the code above you can also show the equivalent tsx down here let me see how how it's like this is also the github repo i'll leave the link to the npm package and a github repo in the description below so you can check it out they have an example here they have a live demo here you can create something like this that's the output for what they have here the next one that i'm going to talk about is react loading spinner so if you're doing something like you're fetching data from somewhere and you think you need to implement something like loading before the data actually loads you can check out react loader spinner some cool examples here so it's worth checking it out i'll leave the link in the description as well you install using react loader spinner dash dash c or if you're using yarn you do this so you also import the CSS file just copy and paste this i don't know if you go specify the loader and you specify some of the props that they have so the type the color timeout and other ones and we have some types of spinners here that you can use here depending on what you are using it for these are the prop types available like type which is a string the height weights and then the color and then other stuff i would also put the link to the github repo in the description next up is very similar to the previous one and it's called react animated burgers right yeah so if you're creating a responsive website and you think you need some burgers for your navigation you can check react animated burgers out they have about 30 animated burger examples here you can actually check this out so you're going to install react animated burgers and you install it alongside styled components because it's a dependency the link is going to be in the description as well so you can you can actually check it out and i'll be recording tutorials for some of these packages that's the github repo next is react swipeable this is a github repo you can actually click on the example when i scroll down when you check the docs it's very straightforward to use so you have some events handlers here on swiped on swiped left on swiped right on swiped up down and then yeah other cool stuff yeah so it's worth checking it out next is one of my favorites it's an animation library and it's called frame motion a production ready motion library for react and it's very cool you can click here to check out the api they also have a very decent documentation which is very straightforward and, and easy to understand when i scroll down i can see some examples here down here you'd see that uh, the animation is happening yeah and that's on the y axis so let me go down so these are some cool examples too you tap on it and it looks like it's opening it right yeah cool stuff can tap and drag very cool that's drag and this is scroll if you scroll you see the animation happening and this one is parts right check it out if you are looking to do some cool animation in react you can actually check it out they have straightforward documentation here it's a lot of example code written for you next is react spring a 
very similar to Freeman motion and when you look at the description here react spring is a spring physics based animation library that should cover most of your ui related animation needs right they also have a very good documentation with lots of examples so when i click on the examples here you could see very cool a lot of things going on here it's worth checking them out explore more on this the last one that i'm going to talk about is called react circle slider it's a very simple slider component for react js and it's very very super easy to use so you do npm install react circle slider and then you just use the components you want right so you specify circle slider and then you specify the value here so this is going to come from maybe react state or something like that yeah so this is the default and you have custom progress color by specifying this prop there is also the custom gradient color here you specify the gradient color from and then the gradient color to there is this prop show tool tip which shows which shows this number here when i drag it up and down you'd see that it's it's increasing it quite quite some cool examples here you can actually check this out so that is it for this video hopefully you find them useful um, i'll leave the links to all the packages and the libraries in the description yeah so as i said i will take some of the libraries and packages and record tutorials on them but if you need me to record a tutorial on a specific package that i just showed you can leave a comment down below and i'll do exactly that right yeah so thank you for watching this video as usual and i will see you in the next video cheers